Hello friends. Today we will learn about uh, the lesson good morning. So in this lesson we will come to know how this child feels. Uh, she likes to wake up in the morning. But what about you people? Do you like to wake up in the morning? See what this child in the poem feels about. I am talking about this child. She wakes up in the morning. Okay. So let us see what she feels in the morning. Good morning. Good morning sky. Good morning sun. Good morning little winds that run. Good morning birds. Good morning trees and creeping grass and brownie bees. How did you find out it was day? Who told you night had gone away? I am wide awake. I am up now too. I will be right out to play with you. This poem is written by Fanny R. Buchanan. So what that girl, the child feels in this poem, we will come to know by understanding this. She is saying, good morning sky. In the morning, when you see, when you come out, you will see sky. Then she says, good morning. And when she sees sun, she says, good morning sun. And when she feels the wind blowing, then she says, good morning little winds that run. So winds run means wind blowing from one side to other. So that is called okay wind runs so she says good morning birds good morning birds in the morning you can find so many birds flying here and there in the morning birds generally <coughs> wake in the morning so they flies here and there so this girl is saying good morning to birds and good morning trees even she's saying good morning to trees also so and creeping grass and creeping grass what do you mean by creeping grass Creeping grass, grass means in the morning when she uh, she might be walking along the road, then she finds uh, grass creeping means so, so moving slowly due to the air, due to the wind. So that is called creeping grass. If grass is like this, nah, if grass is like this, it is moving, then it is called creeping. So grass is creeping means slowly moving. Uh, and brownie bees, brownie bees, you can see here. Uh, bees, bees are brown in color now, so they are brownies. Okay, brownie bees. You can see here, this bees, brownie, brown in color. And then she's asking them, she's asking them, how did you find out it was day? She's asking them, how did you find out it was day? Okay. Who told you night had gone away? And she's also asking them, who told you? Who told you night had gone away? And day has come. So she's also telling them, I am wide awake. I am wide awake. I am very much awake. So I am I'm up now to like you people, like you birds, like you trees, like you creeping grass, brownie bees. I am also up now. So means I am up now means I am ready. I am okay. I am ready. Too much ready. I will be right out to play with you. I will be right out. I will be coming right now. I will be coming just now. To play with you so this girl is ready to play with the nature around her so she likes to play with birds she likes to play with the trees around her she likes to play with the bees and she enjoys the nature all around her so children it is possible for you also only if you get up early in the morning so if you get up early in the morning it will be very very pleasant day for you so so don't you get up, try to get up early in the morning. So if you try to get up early in the morning, you will experience all these kind of things. Okay. So like this beautiful child. So here we have new words. What are the new words? Creeping. Creeping means, creeping means, creeping means to go like this. Okay. To move slowly. So if you can, you can say spider is creeping. Okay. Spider is creeping. You can also find you can also find creeping plants no so if the if the plants are like this and they are so like this they are uh, lying on the ground then you can say they are creeping they are creeping plants like this awake awake means to get up to get up from sleep okay to get up from sleep jagna gone away Gone away means to go 
far away to go far away to disappear gone away means to disappear you can write to disappear to disappear and this is to awake means to get up creeping means creeping means so growing along on the ground uh, growing actually along the ground like this so it is growing along along the ground no? it is it is growing along the ground so why is the child in the poem happy why is that girl the child is there na no? in the poem happy the answer you can write as the child in the poem is happy okay because it is morning now and the night is over okay the night has gone away so it is morning to whom does the child say good morning to whom does the child say good morning the child says good morning to the sky the sun wind birds trees grass and bees what does the child want to do the child wants to play with the birds and bees in the morning i say good morning okay what do you say in the morning we say good morning in the morning at night uh, i say good night isn't it we say good night in the night a dog says what does a dog say a dog says bow bow a cow says tell me what what does a cow say a cow says moo moo say good morning in your own language too okay try to say good morning in your own language if i need to say good morning in my own language i would say shubodayam okay next your friends i say good morning parul my friend's name is parul your teacher i say good morning ma'am okay means when you when you meet your teacher you should say good morning teacher and your teacher will say good morning with uh, she uh, she uses your name how would you wish them when you leave school in the evening how would you wish them so oh, when i leave school i say goodbye friends to all my friends okay i say goodbye ma'am to my teacher so like that we wish our friends and teacher so we should say goodbye friends goodbye teacher goodbye ma'am like that let's say aloud okay find words in the poem which rhyme with b tree okay the word that rhymes with b is tree day way to you what do you what do you see around you what do you see this is not your what do you see around you around you means suppose this is you and around you means like this so what do you see around you during the day and at night draw in the two boxes given below and color the picture so in the morning you can see a rising sun sorry the rising sun in the morning you can see the rising sun and in the night you can see the crescent okay or the moon write two words each from the two pictures you have drawn day night so in day you can write sunlight so here it is sunlight is there na no? sun is there so sunlight must be there so sunlight chirping birds so voices of birds and in the night you can write moonlight and birds sleep okay so then finally farm groups tell each other an interesting thing you have seen in the garden one day so you have to tell each other what you have seen in the garden one day so you may tell like this last sunday i was playing with my brother in the garden there were beautiful flowers of all kinds colorful butterflies were wandering from one flower to another wandering means to run from one flower to other to run from here to there so generally butterflies what they do they fly from one uh, a flower to other flower like this okay so they fly from here to there and there to here like this okay so wandering means to run from one place to other 
my brother and I wanted to touch the butterflies. Okay, as we went near the butterflies, they flew away. We tried many times, but we could not, but we could not catch the butterflies. Okay, that's all about this poem. So, what is the moral of this poem? Moral of this poem is you will enjoy the nature when you wake up early in the morning. Also, you know, one famous saying, one famous saying that is early to bed, early to rise makes a man. healthy, wealthy and wise. So if we go to bed early and if we rise early in the morning, then that makes us healthy, wealthy and wise. It makes a man, not only man, woman also, everyone, everyone, boy, girl, everyone, who, whoever go to bed early and rise early in the morning, then they will be very healthy, wealthy and wise. So, hope you understood the lesson. Thank you.